Once a week, I write my own music, like with a pencil. I find a chill spot and I sit down and just clear my mind and try and come up with some new beats. I'm usually thinking about how will my drumming sound five years from now? I wanna make sure that any ideas that I haven't thought of or any different patterns that I haven't practiced, um, I can see clearly. And the only way sometimes to see those clearly is to have a visual representation of what those beats look like on paper. Especially if things get complicated, I can save things by having them written down without forgetting them. So the first step is obviously to play something or think of something that you like. How did that go? So I've got eighth note hi-hat up top, and then I start thinking about how that beat went. My right hand is up top, and then just like on a drum set, the middle line is your snare drum, and on the floor, on the bottom line, is your kick drum. So I'll think bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, and I'll start looking at where that lines up with my right hand. Bass, bass, snare, right? So I've got bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, right? So a bass here, and then here, bass, bass, snare, there's gonna be a bass in between. So, and a snare drum here. So if a bass drum is in between an eighth note, it's faster moving note than an eighth note. In this case, if it's exactly in between, it's gonna be a 16th note. Let me just make these a little more pretty. Little of that. Little of that. Once my bass drums and snare drums are in, I do the stems. I like to start with the kick drum, and I just bring all of these down, and then I'll do the snare drum, and I bring them down. These are eighth notes, so they get a single bar. These guys are sixteenth notes, they get the double bar. And this one is a dotted eighth. I'm not gonna get into the theory. I'm not submitting this uh, for publication. This is only for my reference so I can save the beat. So obviously this is a whiteboard. This isn't manuscript paper. Manuscript paper is way more um, tight of a space to work in and it's a little bit easier. I'm not dealing with tape on a whiteboard. Another great thing about this is it's not popular, which means the price of manuscript paper is pretty cheap. Um, this helps me in a lot of ways. When I see something, I really understand it when I can see it. And when I understand it, I can absorb it. And when I absorb it, I can really use it when I need to and also try and push it to the next level. 